So this video is going to be a little different. Um, I might talk about my surgery a little bit, but the biggest thing about this video is I just wanted to put on documentation somewhere. I'm thinking about doing weight loss surgery, specifically the um, gastric sleeve. And uh, I don't know how many of you know about that, but it's been weighing on my mind a lot over the past couple of years. Uh, <clears throat> I've tried so many methods to lose weight on my own, haven't really been able to do it. And I mean, everybody's always like, you can lose weight, you know, just, just don't eat as much, just exercise more. It's, uh, seems like it's always easier said than done. And I get successful. Like I have, I have times when I actually do, um, you know, I'll, I'll lose like 30 pounds. When I first changed my diet, um, three, four years ago, five years ago, maybe. I lost like 60 pounds, just under 60 pounds in a relatively short amount of time. Um, wasn't easy, but it wasn't permanent. And I mean, even that the weight that I lost back then, I'm almost up to that weight now. And that's, that seems to be a repetitive pattern for my life is I'll find some method. There's a gorgeous creek behind me, by the way. Put it in the shot. Maybe just, just show it to you. this park to reflect a lot um but it's always been something where it recurs you know i'll lose weight and i'll come back i've done fasts i've done juice the only thing that seems to be uh permanent are people who lose it with weight loss surgery and especially the gastric sleeve because it's restrictive it, what it does is it they cut off about 80 percent of your stomach and your stomach's about the size of a banana and it just forces you. I mean, you physically can't eat as much as you used to eat, or you'll puke or get sick, or there's several things that happen. And I mean, I know that's pretty drastic, but I'm getting older. I'm noticing pains in places constantly now. Um, I have issues related to health that's 100%. I mean, I mean, I have health issues 100% related to weight, and. My PCP is telling me I really need to lose weight, and I'm like, I've been trying, and I've, I've, I've done everything. Like I said, diets, pills, I've been on prescription, phenamine, I've lost a lot of weight like that before. But like I said, it's never permanent. So I actually went to a bariatric seminar. <clears throat> they talked about the procedure and the risks associated, and um, they informed me that my insurance needs three months of PCP meetings before they'll approve the surgery you have to have a comorbidity comorbidity benchmarks like a uh, high blood pressure sleep apnea all these things and i have virtually all of them um so i'm not it's not going to be an issue my bmi is really really high i just i'm on the fence about it because it's a permanent physical change to your stomach you can no longer eat the foods that you wanted to eat you can't like guzzle water you have to sip water and there's just so many new rules but the people that do it seem to love it the people that i, I follow on facebook and these little groups that i'm a part of they love it i mean I've, i i don't see i see 99 percent positive things and one percent negative things and that's what scares me because the one percent negative some of them are disastrous this one girl's uh her name is taylor ann and uh she has had her sleeve leak she's had a feeding tube put in her feeding tube has made her body septic her uh, it's got infected she's been on the verge of death several times granted that's pretty drastic that's not a typical thing that I see in these weight loss surgeries but even at that it's possible that's just that's something that's possible she hasn't died I haven't heard of anybody that, that's died I haven't heard any of these people say they knew someone who died um, a few of them have had issues. None of them seem to be as bad as this poor Taylor Ann's issues. Um, but some of them have. The, the sleeve will leak. And sometimes it's because the surgeon messed it up. And sometimes it's because they tried to put more food in it than they're supposed to too early. That'll cause that too. There's just so many things. Of the three main weight loss surgeries, there's the band. And then there's the... Uh, gastric bypass and then there's the sleeve the sleeve is relatively the newest seems to have the least amount of um, uh, complications 
Plus, your, your stomach functions normally. It's just small. The only thing is, it's just much smaller volume. You still have, you digest it there. Um, it doesn't reroute your tubes like it does with bypass. So I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards it, but that, that part of me, the ego that says you can do this without it, is still there. And I don't, I don't like to have a permanent change to my physical, to my body. Surgery is always a little bit of a risk. Thinking about my hernia too, you know, my PCP and the surgeon said that if I lost weight, it would be the best thing for the hernia repair because visceral fat or internal organ fat pushes against that repair. The least amount of pressure I can continue to put on it, the better, the more that it's going to stay strong. So I don't know. I just, I just wanted to record this so that in the future, if I do decide to go with surgery and I start documenting that I'll see what kind of struggles I went through and maybe I won't maybe I'll go through this summer and this these few months and uh, since I had the hernia repair I'll be able to exercise hard and constant like I did and maybe my mindset will change and I'll be like I think I can do this without surgery but I just look at the past if the past is usually a good indicator and based on my past I I do well for short spurts like a month and then it comes back so I mean, my age is getting up there. My knees are killing me. I had one knee surgery already because I had a torn meniscus. And they x-rayed my knees. And he said, you've got arthritis in both of them. That's kind of bad. And he's like, you really need to lose weight. My back, I'm constantly going to the chiropractor. Um, that hernia was exasperated because of my advanced weight. There's so many things. And all I'm going to do is continue to get older and heavier. So, anyways. I, share your thoughts. If you have ideas on this. If any of you have had such surgery. I'd like to hear about it. I really, I really want input from people who've done it or, or thought about it themselves. I think I will show how my uh, incision looks now at this point. I'll make a quick little picture and, or two and add that to this video. So anyways, have a great day.